Joyce also was attempting to do something very, very modern indeed in technique. Uh, this was not altogether original, but he felt the techniques that had been used in the novels, say, of Dickens, Thackeray, and the rest of them, and even H.G. Wells, Arnold Bennett, uh, were not sufficiently subtle to show what's really going on in the human mind. Uh, we say things in normal life, but we also think things. And Joyce had to develop a technique for showing what's going on in the mind on the pre-verbal level, before people actually speak. The most difficult interior monologue we shall meet is that of Stephen, the young poet, 22 years of age. His mother's just died, he's just come back from Paris, he doesn't know where he is, but he's essentially a poet and an intellectual, and a rather bumptious young man. Joyce uh, had various reasons for going into exile, if we may call it that. Of course, uh, in the first place, a, a very banal reason. You cannot write in Dublin. Uh, the, there's too much talk. Anybody who's tried to write a book in Dublin knows that uh, the book can be spent in a couple of uh, pub conversations. You don't want to write the book after that. You've done the job of being a bard and uh, given out the words. There's nothing in Ulysses which is really intelligible, unless you understand this Jesuit-educated background, this life in a small city, this resentment at church, at family, at uh, nationalism, at the British Empire, and all these various factors which perhaps drove Joyce out of the British Isles uh, to live in, uh, in the continent of Europe, to become a European. Uh, Joyce did recognize that uh, out there in Europe, as he put it, the modernistic movement was stirring. Uh, Joyce saw also that the Jew was the real protagonist of modern history. Uh, Joyce knew nothing of the, the Holocaust, uh, of course, but he did recognize that Jew was the key figure, not the Christian, not the pagan in, in modern life, and of course, also in modern literature. Nora was uneducated, almost illiterate, direct, very Irish, very honest, and uh, it seems to us, um, sexually, uh, much more liberated than we normally uh, think an Irish woman should be, especially at that period. And uh, Molly, at the end of that book, is Nora. I think without, no, without this earthy, unintellectual Galway girl he married, he could not have uh, got to the depth of uh, the feminine soul. Although uh, uh, Nora herself said, Jim knows nothing about women. But uh, Jung said, uh, as far as the knowledge of women is concerned, you must have been inspired by the devil. Ulysses is about love. It's not the sloppy love of uh, Barbara Cartland, it's the profounder love uh, of men for men, uh, men for the city, men for civilization, man and woman, uh, biological, uh, intellectual, uh, but most of all this incredible love which is possible between a Jew and a young Irishman, the substitute father, if you like, the substitute son, but more than that, the necessity of the, the, inter the intellect represented by, by Joyce himself, by Stephen, and common sense, the body represented by Bloom, these coming together to form a symbiosis. And uh, I think you have to end up by saying that Ulysses is really, despite the, you know, the Jewish hero and the renegade secondary hero, Stephen, it is, it is a Catholic testament in a curious way. It uh, does present the importance of the city, the importance of the male community, and more than anything, the uh, desperate importance of transmuting ordinary experience into what he called epiphanies, you know, views of the truth, the shining truth coming out of ordinary things. That's what art is to Joyce, but not to many, not to many other writers. Uh, with those of us who know Joyce, when we sit down to write a novel, as I do, I feel, um, I feel desperate. I feel I cannot match Ulysses. I must do what I can.